You know Tennessee is one of the most annoying fan bases on planet friggin' Earth. When even I, as a Tennessee fan, am getting friggin' fed up with them. So, of course, Tennessee basketball, both Lady Vols and Men's Vols, um, you know, uh, lost today in horrifically bad ways. Tennessee loses at Kentucky in men's basketball. Now, of course, Kentucky won their Super Bowl today, basically, in basketball. You know, it doesn't really mean that much in, in the grand scheme of things for Tennessee. Uh, you know, is, you know, take from that what you will. I think we can all agree that, you know, Kentucky fans can, you know, holler around and jump around and celebrate that. You know, I mean, we're still going to be the one seed in the in the uh, the SEC tournament, and wh however that plays out, we'll find out in the future. That's not what I'm really getting at today. I'm getting at, uh, of course, the Lady Vols, uh, the Lady Vols team who ended up losing uh, in horrifically bad fashion to South Carolina on a buzzer beater. Now, I know a lot of you don't watch uh, women's basketball. At least, uh, I'm assuming a majority of the people watching this right now have not seen a Lady Vols or a Lady Basketball game, uh, unless if you're a Gamecock fan where your team is just unbelievably just elite. Uh, you know, South Carolina right now, I mean, what are they, 30-0 and 0 now? They, they, they didn't lose a regular season game. They've been dominating everyone they've played, with the exception of, get this, Tennessee. Tennessee has put up a fight against South Carolina the three times that they've played them. The first two times in the regular season, and now today, they put, I mean, it looked like Tennessee was going to be out uh, for a majority of uh, the game, and then Tennessee climbed all the way back, was leading, and then South Carolina makes a miracle buzzer beater shot to beat Tennessee, and just like every time a coach takes a loss, here comes Vol Twitter for her ass, for her ass. Far her ass, far her ass. They, they, I don't get it. I, I really don't understand. And they've been on this. If you are a Tennessee fan that actually genuinely believes that firing Kelly Harper is going to suddenly revive this program from whatever hole that you think they're in, you are so dumb. You might as well just stop watching. Just stop watching. Because everything you say is extremely irrelevant. It is extremely stupid, too. I wish we could just give these people like like a brick wall, that just like a brick wall in their room or wherever their keyboard is, that every time they get mad at the Lady Vols for whatever reason, they've got a keyboard and they've got a big fat mouth to yell at, and so nobody else has to hear the stupid crap they have to spit out, that the brick wall has to hear it. Let that be true, please. Let's build these people a brick wall so that they can yell all of their stupid shit over at that brick wall. So that we, as reasonable, rational people, don't have to hear the stupid shit that you say. And it wasn't like the people that believe this. that It's not like they just, you know, over the course of the season, you're like, you know, maybe, maybe it's time for a change. You know what? Now I'm fed up. Now I'm fed up. It wasn't even like that. They decided long ago, not even when we were taking losses early in the season, but before the season started, back in November when the football team was still playing, they then decided for whatever reason that Kelly Harper should be fired. The best reason that they can give you, she's not past Summit. She's not past Summit, sweetheart. She's not past Summit. She ain't as good as past Summit. Breaking news, dipshit! Nobody's as good as Pat Summit. Is this like a preamble to what we're going to expect this season from Alabama fans? Nick Saban retires. Here comes uh, Kalen DeBoer, a proven pretty good head coach. Is this what's? Is this what we're gonna have to hear once he loses one game? Far his ass. Far his ass. He lost one game. He's not Nick Saban. Far his ass. I, I hope that's the case. I hope that's the case, but even as Al even as stupid as most Alabama fans are, I have to genuinely believe that they aren't as dumb as these people who have been running around and screaming for her ass, for her, expecting for the moment she gets fired, uh, and then whichever coach we bring in is just suddenly going to be as good as Pat Summit. We're going to win 900 games. We're going to win every single national championship from here until kingdom come. Uh, we're going to be the best program in basketball history and you know, none of that's happening none of that is happening Pat Summit was a generational coach that is you aren't getting one of those overnight you aren't
You are. And I wish you could see just kind of a reflection of what would happen if we ended up firing Kelly Harper and then we end up worse. What are you going to say then? What are you going to say then? Oh, well, we made a big mistake in coaching. Wow, shocker, Tennessee fans realizing a coach ain't that good after you scream far, 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 for the entirety of the offseason. Wow, wow, unbelievable. Damn, y- y- y'all got me so mad. I'm speaking in italics. Losing sucks. I get it. Losing sucks. <laughs> Look at the logo on my head. I've experienced a lot of losing. I get it. It sucks. Firing the coach isn't suddenly going to fix every well-known problem in the universe. It's not happening. It's it's just not happening. Not that I'm saying Tennessee has this, but if you have a team full of two stars and you have a coach that's, you know, decent, it's a decent coach, and you fire this coach, it's not suddenly going to make everybody on the roster five stars. It's not happening. They will stay two stars. Yeah, maybe you can have a coach that can take them from a two-star talent to a three-star. Maybe they're a four-star, somewhere around that range. Look at Dalton Connect. Nobody really nobody really heard of Dalton Connect until this season. Things like this happen. But it's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to fire Kelly Harper and then bring it. I've been hearing a lot about, oh, Molly Miller. Oh, Molly Miller's going to come save the program. And most of the people that are saying this are just down bad, horny people. Just legitimately, they, they don't even know why they want her. They don't even know her resume. They just want her because she's hot. That's it. That's the legitimate. That's the only legitimate reason they can come up with. Look, I get it. You want Tennessee to be as good as when Pat Summit was there. It happens. I get it. Losing sucks. But we took this South Carolina team down, who, who has not lost a game. They're the, the well-known, the best team in college uh, basketball right now, uh, at least from a record standpoint. Um, by far the best team in college basketball. We took, we've taken them down to the wire every single time that we've played them. We haven't beat them, but nobody else has. So what can you say about that? But of course, we lose a game for her ass. Far her ass, far her. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I I really do not understand how you can be a Tennessee fan. Look at this situation. Look at this coach. Uh, look at this team. Say and, and then say, oh, far her ass. Uh, and then the moment that happens, uh, suddenly all of our problems are fixed, and we're going, you know, two hundred and zero next year. It's not happening. It's not happening. If you want Tennessee basketball to plummet further in, or the Lady Vols program, if you want that to plummet further into the ground, then by all means, uh, by all means, keep running around with that stupid shit. Far her arrows, far her arrows, far her arrows. God, you are so. I mean, you people are so dumb. And these Tennessee fans have it as some sort of head cannon that uh, the moment Kelly Harper gets fired. Uh, Molly Miller's coming to Knoxville and she's going 100 and 0 and the program is being saved from whatever grave it's in according to these people and then uh Tennessee's going to win 900 daddies in every single sport from here to kingdom come well um that's why it's called a head cannon it doesn't exist there is no world that it exists other than your fictional landscape it's not happening it's not i don't know what to tell you Keep hoping and keep praying that it does. Or better yet, better yet, just don't watch. Just don't watch. If, if all you're going to bring to the table is far. I saw where Tennessee went, like the Lady Vols went on like a winning streak. And all these people in the Twitter section, oh, far. I mean, great, great game. Great game overall. Still though, far. Far. These people, you won't change these people's minds ever, ever. Kelly Harper could go on to win the NCAA championship, and it's still going to be the same thing. Yeah, we won the championship and all, but far her arrows. Far her arrows. Far her arrows. Just, God, you people. You people. Mm-mm-mm. Where's that energy about Rick Barnes, though? He lost today to Kentucky, most hated rival. Where's that energy? Where's that energy? Half, half the team looks like they're lost on the field. Dalton Connect having to carry once again. Where's the energy from him, huh? Fire his eyes. Where's that at? Fire the, get rid of the team. The team ain't no good. Where, where all that energy at? Sounds a bit like a double standard. Get it together, people. Get it together. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I wish we could win every single game too, but it doesn't happen. And it doesn't mean that every time we lose a game, we have to fire somebody!